Hey guys, we're gonna make some Christmas goodies today. So come on and join the Farm and Pastors Watch. to make a recipe for you guys um, it's probably a staple and forgive the windows and everything behind me I'm gonna switch and put the camera over here but the dishwasher's hooked up and it's running so I was afraid you might get a, a muffle sound but this is a holiday staple in most homes uh, around our area so you probably have made these it that we call them magic bars um, it's so easy um, and I either get one of two things if you've made them you know how easy they are but if you've never made them and you look at them you think oh my goodness that looks so hard but it is the easiest sweet treat you will make this Christmas one of the easiest it is basically just measure out and pour so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to preheat my oven to 325 and um, let me go through what you're going to need. You're going to need a cup and a half of graham cracker crumbs. Um, you're going to need six ounces of semi-sweet morsels. Now, I'm having a hard time finding small bags of chocolate chips this year. So, um, I'm having to buy these 24 ounce. But you know, with this recipe, I really don't measure anyway. Um, I just kind of go to sprinkle till I feel it's enough. So that's that. You're going to need about a cup of coconut and you're going to need about a cup of chopped pecans. These are chopped pecans, but they look kind of big. So that's why I have my cabbage chopper laid out. I'm going to measure out some pecans and kind of break them up just a little bit more with this. You'll need a stick of butter and you'll need a can of sweetened condensed milk. This is the sweetness of the South, let me tell you. My family, not me, but my husband and my son can eat this out of the can. This is like gold. So, anyway, so what I'm going to do, and you're going to need a pan. And <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this, but um, if you can see the brown um, grease spots, you know, I'll clean this up. I mean, I wash it, and it's clean. It's very clean. It's been washed. It's been hand washed, and it's been dishwasher washed. Um, but this is like grease spots that gets kind of burnt on. I'm going to use this dish um, so much over the next few days. I'm not going to worry about it till after Christmas, and then I'll just get some goof off or, or make a little paste of um, baking soda or whatever and scrub that off. But I'm not worried about it for the next few days, so you just love me anyway. Know that it's clean. And um, so I'm going to use it anyway. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, you're going to put this, the stick of butter. It's so easy. You don't even have to melt it separate or anything. Let me tell you a trick. I stick it in the pan, just the stick of butter in the pan. Now I'm going to go preheat my oven and just stick this in there while it preheats. While it preheats, your stick of butter is melting in the pan. How easy is that? So I'm going to go away for just a minute. I'm going to come over there. You're actually sitting on my stove. So I'm going to come over there, preheat my oven, and measure out my ingredients, get them all ready and measured out, and then I'll show you how we assemble it, okay? Okay, guys, I have just gotten out um, the butter that's now in this very, very hot pan. It's melted. And I've got it sitting here. So now it's basically just dump and assemble. So here's your cup and a half of graham crackers and you just want to evenly sprinkle them on top of the hot, hot butter. And, and I did say my oven was at 325. Or if I didn't say, that's what it's at. And y'all, over the next few days, I'm going to be cooking a lot of recipes. And I'm actually going to do several today that will be posted or uploaded um, on different days. <laughs> so I'll have the same outfit on. So don't think I only have one shirt. 
I'm just doing several in one day because today is like a busy, busy um, Christmas goodie day. And so I just like to sometimes take a spatula and just kind of like in the corners where maybe I didn't get it good, just kind of even it out a little bit. You're, you're going to use your hands in a minute and push down. And, but I still like to kind of get it, especially the graham crackers. I probably won't do this anymore. Um, but the graham crackers, I kind of like to get evened out a little bit. Okay. So now here's your 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. And you're just gonna do that too. You're just gonna drizzle it evenly. And I just kind of go back and forth. And I fill in all the places I don't get. And this is this yummy goodness right here. And it smells so good. It smells like Christmas right now already. The graham cracker crumbs, the Eagle brand milk, the butter. <sighs> um, I'm just, it just smells like my house at Christmas. And this is one of those things my kids absolutely have to have on Christmas. Every year I ask them to give me a goodie list for Christmas and every year it's the same thing. One year something that's not on my Christmas goodie list is peanut butter balls or what do they call them? There's another name for them but anyway one year I made them and the kids loved them so much and they ate so much made them sick and so now they're like oh don't do peanut butter balls mom just the thought of that makes them sick so yeah they ate they loved them they were good they were a little too good I guess so just the thought of them makes them sick so so you get the Eagle brand milk just as evenly as you can and again I didn't measure my uh, chocolate morsels so I'm just gonna kind of I just kind of opened the bag and poured and so I'm just going to sprinkle, and if you like a lot of chocolate, and this is where you can vary. You can put white chocolate and uh, semi-sweet chocolate. You could probably do the um, butterscotch if you wanted. You can do anything. We just like the chocolate. I haven't ever tried the white chocolate, but I've seen other people do it. I mean, everybody has this recipe, whether you know it or not, and it's... It's just an easy go-to Christmas recipe. But if you've never made it, you're witnessing how easy it is. And I just try to get those as evenly spaced as I can. All right. And same thing with the coconut. I didn't measure. I think it's about a cup. I think I put about a cup in here. The My mama's recipe was way back when I was a daughter. I mean, when I was a daughter. I'm always a daughter. When I was a little girl, and um, her recipe says a three and a half ounce can of, I don't think they have coconut in a can anymore. If they do, I don't know where it's at. So, I don't know. So, I just basically, I think this is about a cup, and I just sprinkle till it looks like I have enough, and and this is the Angel Flake Sweetened Coconut. Just get everything as even as you possibly can. And now, I didn't quite use, I got just a little bit left in the bottom. And now here's the pecans that I've tried to chop up a little bit and there's some fairly good sized pieces. I'll just break them up as I see them. And you just sprinkle them on top. And this is about a cup. In fact, this is a cup. And I'll probably use every last bit of it. If y'all are wondering what this is in the center of my kitchen, because it's not usually here. It's not usually here. It is, um, I've always wanted an island in my kitchen. And especially here because I don't have much cabinet space. Um, so this, my daddy died when I was 15 years old. And, um, but while I was a little girl, he um, built me, he was a woodworker. He loved to work, work with wood. And so he built me this, it's a little desk 
It's a, for a little girl, a little girl's desk. And um, so um, I just pull it in the kitchen when I need a little extra space and use it kind of as a kitchen island and comes in very handy. So now what you want to do is just take your hand and just don't touch the pan because the pan's still hot, but just kind of press down. You want everything pressed down, pressed down and shaken together. So that was a little scriptural pastor's wife coming out in me. Press down and shaken together. That's how the Lord blesses us. It just runs over. And it's not lightly packed. It's firmly packed. <laughs> Press down. All right. So that is ready to go into a 325 degree oven for about 25 minutes. And depending on your oven, just watch it. You, It's going to kind of get like toasty golden brown. And then you'll pull it out and you'll let it cool. And you'll slice it up into bars or squares. And um, you'll have magic bars. So I'm going to get this in the oven and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh my goodness, y'all. I just pulled the magic bars out of the oven. They smell so good. If you could just smell my kitchen. Do you have smell vision? I wish you did because it smells so good. It, this smell reminds me of Christmas. Reminds me of Christmas. Anyway, so I'm going to show you what they look like. And then we're going to let them cool for a little bit. And then I'm going to cut them up into squares. Wash my pan. And make another batch another whole batch um, on December 23rd Christmas Eve falls on Sunday this year so um, usually I do it on Christmas Eve but since Christmas Eve is on Sunday we have morning service and then we're gonna have a Christmas Eve service at church so on Saturday the 23rd look at my cabinets open uh, anyway on um, Saturday, December 23rd, we've invited the church, all our friends, um, family, anybody who wants to come by to just come and get a plate of goodies. So I'll probably make two batches of this. And you think two batches, that won't go far. And you're right, it normally wouldn't, but I have a spread on that day. Like I have all kinds of goodies. Um, and so over the next few days, you're going to um, go with me and make some. And I may put two on one video. So we may make two goodies on one. Um, <clears throat> just because I have so much to make and I want to share them with y'all. So, okay, I'm going to show you what they look like. All right, there they are. The good and toasty brown. And see this brown goodness right Ouch, I saw it. This brown goodness right here. That's that um, condensed milk that's come up and browned and... Mm. It'll be so good. So, oh, I added a minute. I added, I put the timer on five minutes, but I only, I left it in just um, two minutes longer than 25. So mine was actually in the oven for 27 minutes. Um, so now they're just going to cool and tempt me. <laughs> they're going to sit here and tempt me while they cool. Because let me tell you, once they're cool and you serve them, let me tell you, hang on, you got to see my face for this. When they're cool and like you come in, um, you've wrapped a few gifts or you've unwrapped a few gifts or whatever and you want a magic bar, let me tell you the best way to eat it. So by then they're, they're going to be cool and, and they're delicious that way. They're just absolutely delicious. But you put one on a saucer or, or a plate of some sort and you stick it in the microwave and you nuke it for about eight seconds and you get that chocolate good and soft and melty. <laughs> Whew. It really twangs my buds. <laughs> that was a line in our Christmas play this year, but I am telling you, it will make your tongue smack your brain. It is so good. So good. So anyway, I will show you what they look like once we get them sliced. And um, right now I gotta go pay bills. Ugh. I don't like to pay bills. I hate paying bills. But it's got to be done. So, and we're blessed and can pay them. So, I'm going to go do that while this cools. And then I'm going to come back and wash my pan and make another. Okay, y'all. Here's what the Magic Bar cookies look like. They are so good. 
and I started packing them up in a green container. Um, I'm gonna make another batch. I'm gonna get my pan clean. Mmm. But these are so good. Oh, I was just thinking that if I had to fix only one, if times got tough and I could only fix one uh, <clears throat> sweet, <clears throat> excuse me, one sweet item and maybe one savory item, what would it be? I think, I'm pretty sure, hands down, as far as sweet items, this would be the one I continued to make if times got really tough. Now, I have a lot of second place, close second placers, but I do think this would be um, one of my favorite. The one I would continue to do. I'll have to think about which one would take second place. Hmm, not sure. But anyway, I wanted to show you that and... Um, Oh, oh, let me show you something else. I want to show you something that's really sweet. And tonight, hopefully tonight, Isaac and I are going to get to make Moravian Spice Cookies. And I just love cooking and fixing for my family. I have such great memories. These smells, when this, when this Magic Bars were in the oven, when they were in the oven, the smell, it just brought back such sweet memories um, of Christmas's past and of laughter around the table and family and friends coming over and Isaac and Caroline saying, Mama, fix me a plate of such and such or or them coming in there and fixing themselves a plate. And, um, it's just food invokes so many memories. And so I had a late girl in our church, a young lady, um, is painting and um, she made this for me. So let me show it. Isn't that precious? It actually had a little bow on the on the whisk right there, but I knocked it off. So I gotta glue it back on. But um, anyway, baking Christmas memories. And that's what we're doing here today. And I'm so glad you're joining me and I hope these recipes help you and your family start new traditions and new memories. Okay guys, I got another really good, easy recipe for you. I'm going to slide my table back just a little bit. This is a crock pot candy. I did it for the first time last year. Um, <clears throat> and it turned out really, really good. So, I'm going to go through the ingredients with you. And I have a fly in here, sorry. So you're going to need a 16 ounce jar of salted roasted peanuts and a 16 ounce jar, 16 ounce jar of um, unsalted roasted peanuts. You're going to need a 12 ounce of the semi-sweet chocolate chips. You're going to need 12 ounces of the milk chocolate chocolate chips. You're going to need two of the uh, 10 ounce packages of peanut butter chips and you're going to need two pounds of the almond bark. Now this this that I found is 24 ounces and so um, I'll be cutting one of these in half so that should that should be a hoot because um, this is some thick stuff and I have a cutting board and knife on my table here so I'm not sure. Oh, I'm not sure how easy this will happen, but they are at least perforated a little bit. But you still gotta look at there. I did it. All right. So, and this goes in the crock pot. Um, this is so easy. What you're gonna do is you're gonna turn it on low for four hours. In a couple of hours, you're gonna open it up and stir it, and it may be. Let me check my recipe. I was wrong. Scratch that. You leave it in for two hours. You open the lid. You stir it because you're just layering. You're going to stir it at that point at the two hour mark. Leave it for a few more minutes. Be sure it's well incorporated. And then you're going to put it on wax paper. Um, the recipe for this should be in the description below. 
and um, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm pretty sure my recipe says two hours. So we're gonna um, turn it on low, let it sit for two, let it cook for two hours on low, remove lid and stir to combine. Replace lid and leave for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then you're just gonna take wax paper, lay it out on your table and um, just spoon it out into little, um, looks like little, um, oh, it's not really a ball, it's just, I don't know, you'll see. But anyway, so you're going to start with your peanuts. You're going to layer with your peanuts first. I think last year I was scared to put the unsalted, but I did anyway and it, it, it works. I was afraid it wouldn't be good but anyway so I'm gonna actually put my almond bark so you're gonna put a half of one and a whole one and I'm not breaking it apart because it's gonna melt in here and I'm gonna stir it so I'm not even breaking it apart I'm just putting it in here whole so there we go there's that and that Um, it doesn't matter what order from this point. You want to start with your peanuts, but from here it doesn't matter. Don't waste one of them morsels. Last year was the first year I did this. Um, and I'm sure this is one of those recipes that's been on Pinterest. Um, and I probably would like to use a, I'm not using one, but I would like to use a, um, bag for your crock pot, the crock pot bag. And this one's not easy to open. But, um, when you spoon it out, it's, um, You may scrape and tear the bag when you're spooning it out because I'm sure it gets pretty stiff, the candy, uh, as it cools. And so I'm not putting a bag, but I really want to. And these are the mini morsels. I didn't realize that, but it doesn't matter. They taste the same. The weight's the same. So, uh, do you see how easy this recipe is? This is wonderful. I'm going to add this one on to the Magic Bar recipe um, since this one's just so easy and quick. Um, both recipes will be down at the bottom in the description. And I think that's good. So, I'm just going to put the lid on, get the crock pot on, and get this going. And I'll show you what it looks like in a couple hours. Okay, so I'm getting ready to stir the crock pot candy for the first time. As you can see, you can still see what everything is, but when you start moving it around, look. Look what happens. Oh my goodness. So, let's just stir this around. There's the peanuts in the bottom. We'll stir them up. Look at this, y'all. Y'all, this is some good kind of stuff here. Let me just work on it and get it stirred because I think I'm going to need both hands here. And we'll bring you back in just a little bit. Hey guys, that's what it looks like all mixed up. I'm going to start getting it on the wax paper. You got to work kind of fast to get this done. Um, so I'm going to get that going and I'll see you back in a minute. <music> 